and that was an interesting sight. I just saw a dude, it was a, it's quite a busy road, the traffic that comes off, uh, the, the Prapok Lao Bridge is pretty heavy, lots and lots of traffic. Anyway, there was a guy doing a pee, and he was doing a pee with his genitalia facing towards the oncoming traffic. If I ever needed to do a, uh, what do you call, shoot the rabbit, I usually point my private parts away from the people. This guy was pointing, pointing his whiz to the traffic. Maybe he was, anyway, I'm not gonna think about it too much. with any learning journey the more you kind of learn the more you realize you don't know and the more there is to learn now I in a previous video I saw some some uh, ladies kind of wedding costumes that were stuck up in various places around Lumpini Park and I was like you know what that's so interesting to me I've got no idea what's going on so I asked my wife and she started talking to me about the different spirits the spirit houses spirits of trees and the, the connection between that and also Married. I need to learn more about this. Uh, I'm going to do a video uh, soon about the temples in the Banrak area and Sampan Tawong. So in during that one, I want to learn a bit more about the spirit houses as well. Now this one to me is fascinating. There's so many uh, wedding dresses, Thai wedding dresses. There's a couple of big planks of wood as well and a pineapple. But that. I need to learn about that. That's interesting. Uh, it's probably more interesting than a guy doing a pee on the side of the road. So I've just learned that this temple here was built by a Chinese merchant named Liab, and it used to be called Wat Liab. And it was built during the Ayutthaya period. Now I'm going to do a video in the future about the temples around this area. Uh, I also want to talk about, there was a certain king, I think it may have been Rama, King Rama VI. Uh, I need to do some more research. But he was very instrumental in, uh, he put a lot of time and effort and money into uh, restoring a lot of the temples around this area. So I'm going to dig a bit deeper and that's for a video that's coming up about the temples in the Banrak, Chinatown, Sampan Tuong area. So I've made it to King Rama I. There's a massive statue dedicated to uh, King Rama the uh, First. And actually, just recently, there were some big celebrations here. So he is the first king of the Chakri dynasty, which is the dynasty we're living in currently. And it's on March the 20th where they celebrate this Chakri dynasty and the founding of Bangkok. Anyway, let's learn a bit more about this monument, the bridge and this king. So of all the monuments I've seen in Thailand, this is one of the most impressive ones. First of all, the sheer size of it. It's huge, it's the biggest one I've seen in uh, Bangkok and Chiang Mai and all of Thailand actually. It's the biggest statue, so it, physically it's massive. But I love the, the, the position as well sitting on the throne, looking out towards the temple, the serious look on his face, the shoes, the costume, you know, the, the, royal, uh, the royal clothing, uh, but also this impressive park as well. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a huge park here, uh, and Lee walking up towards this uh, statue is really, really impressive. I recommend, if you get a chance, come and have a look at this, this uh, fantastic, uh, statue of King Rama the first really really impressive you know it's one thing to look at uh, statues on websites and in like books and stuff but when you actually physically get up close to these kind of places that sometimes they're just so striking and look at the beautiful background the behind the gold leaf which is behind uh, the monument as well it's fantastic and, and the intricate the intricate details of the throne, 
There's the Garudas, which are on the sides and the corners as well. And the Naga-like figure, which is for the armrest. And the hat. This is real. I'm really impressed with this. This is fantastic. From a cinematic experience, the sun's kind of in the... Maybe it's in the right or wrong place, but I'd actually like to see this statue at different times of the day as well, but even at night time. So when I come back to visit the uh, Chow Prea Sky Park and Klong An An, An in the night time, I'll come back here as well. So I'll, I'll be curious to see how it's lit up at night time. This striking, this striking and powerful uh, monument here. I reckon it would look fantastic in the night. Anyway, just behind this monument, you can probably just see some of the pillars, is the Memorial Bridge. That's the green metal bridge, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment and go and have a closer look. So an important stage of the uh, learning process is making connections. So I just read that this was actually commissioned to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Chakri dynasty, this monument here. And that was in 1932. And coincidentally, it was uh, uh, King Rama VII, which is Pra Pok Lao, which is the bridge that we just vi visited then before is, is the pra, pra Pok Lao Bridge. So that was the 200th anniversary, to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Bangkok. And it was that guy who commissioned and decided to build this impressive monument to mark the 150th anniversary of Bangkok. So a little connection there. I like it when those kind of things happen. So another connection as well, I was talking about the democracy monument before. So Slipakorn, uh, he was the designer of the Democracy Monument. He was also the designer of the, what's the other one, the Victory Monument. And he also designed this one. Now, Slippercorn also has a, has a university that it's called Slippercorn uh, University, which focuses on art and design. So another connection being made. So he, he, he uh, his name pops up quite a lot, actually, uh, Slippercorn. I should probably do a video about that guy. I do like uh, architecture and art and design. Yes, I'm gonna do it. So you'll see uh, at the base here of this monument, there's this white elephant, the symbol of the white elephant here. Now the white elephant is the uh, symbol of the Chakri dynasty. So that is an impressive monument. Now, same year that this monument was built was when the Memorial Bridge was built as well so I'm just going to go and have a closer look at that because uh, it has important I've just been reading about how important it has been in Thai's history including some information about World War uh, World War two yeah or World War one again I'm learning so I'll, I'll, I'll get the details right and tell you a little bit more about that and uh, not only so that it's place in history but it's also the structure of it and how it was built and how the design of that built uh, that 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 bridge came to be but now I've just got to work out how the hell do I get there these uh, parks are impressive but they're not uh, user friendly for foot traffic so I might have to jump a few fences and dash across a few busy roads so wish me luck